Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live session today and I'm going to start with Boeing and I'm going to do something special today because I'm going to get you into my thought process today in a little bit more detailed way than I usually do. So take a look at Boeing. The first thing you can notice that it started with a gap down, but it's not a huge gap down. It's approximately a 2% gap down, a little bit less than 2%, but it did continue coming down. Now I'm about to short it because it's a nice technical formation now for short. As you can see, it's coming down. It's close to the lows. I shorted before it moved to a new low, just shorted. Now 4,000 shares. So now I'm expecting it to move under the lows. It touching the lows it's moving under right now just touching under the lows you always want to short a stock before it moves to a new low you do not short it at the point of the breakdown you short it before at the point where you expect a breakdown now that's a fast forward of what happened today in Boeing and soon I'm going to take you into my thought process and explaining you a little bit more in details what I've done there. So anyway, as you can see, it just moved to a new low. A small retest came back up just a little bit. I'm up like $2,000. It still is going sideways uh, and slowly coming down. And again, my target was very close to 154 it just touched my target I'm up $2,500 I'm looking for a bit more I always try to get a one-to-one -one risk reward but if I can get a little bit more than that then I'm I'm, I'm I'm giving it a chance to get to the point where I'm making a little bit more than a one-to-one -one risk reward but again that's my style not the issue that I'm going to discuss today. Right now, we touched my target again, and I'm taking my partial, leaving 400 shares. So that was a nice, approximately $3,000 profitable trade. And again, it started with an intraday formation, a very nice intraday formation. Now I'm going to go into details. So stay with me because I think that's the most important part. I, I, I guess you're here to watch the reason why I trade and less how much money I make per trade. So anyway, you can see that we had a nice technical formation, but it starts with daily. So let's take a look at the daily of Boeing. As you can see here, we've got a beautiful breakdown formation. Now I have seen that because I did do my homework. I have seen that in pre-market time. So I was watching Boeing and I was looking at the gap down and I saw that it's very close to the breakdown point. It is extremely important to understand that because now we have a combination of what happened on the daily and on the intraday. So the intraday, as you can see, is beautiful. It's a nice technical formation. The stock started with a gap down. It continued to come down and very close to the lows. It broke down under the lows. I took it at a nice breakdown point. Again, just to remind you, you always look for the point where you short it before it breaks down under the lows unexperienced traders break take a trade under the lows or at a new breakout experienced traders always expect the next move just like i did over here right over here but that's not the end game there's a lot of things to notice here well the first thing i mentioned is the daily the daily was beautiful in boeing undoubtedly and when you add the daily to the intraday you've got the winning ingredients why because the people who are watching the daily are long-term investors. I don't expect them to short the stock when it's breaking down under such a huge support area, but I'm definitely expecting them to get out of a losing trade or to close a long in Boeing. It's quite like shorting the stock, but it's not really shorting the stock. They're just closing long positions. And when they do that, then you have the help not only of the long-term investors but also of the intraday traders so now we've got both helping us we've got intraday traders who noticed the beautiful intraday formation which i discussed earlier and we've got the long-term investors both groups now are shorting or closing long position now the more interesting the stock is like Boeing a lot of people are watching it then the more you would expect long-term investors to close long positions and intraday traders to notice the beautiful technical formation and move out so the intraday formation is great for uh intraday traders to short it and the daily formation is great for long-term investors to move out of the trade but i also want to show you some more things that i was in, involved in once i was looking at the stock now i want you to take a look at um, the way aal airlines behaved you can see that uh, 
at, uh, at this point right over here, you can see that the airlines tried to move higher. Now I'm going to point my marker right over there. You can see that the time is 1647. That's my time. I'm in Ithaca, Greece, sailing with my boat right now. And 1647 was a time where you can see that the airlines tried to move higher. Now I always watch the airlines when I'm about to trade Boeing. Now I was watching this and I thought the airlines are likely to move higher. We've seen that we have a topping tail and then they decided to move lower. And then I was watching Boeing again and at the point that the airlines tried to move higher, I looked at Boeing and I decided I'm not going to take the trade because it happened right over here. You see 1647, it was very close to the point where I clicked that button and I moved short. I decided I'm not going to do that. Uh, but then if you remember the, the, the chart I just showed you, the airlines failed. They left a topping tail and at that point, point I decided to post this trade in my trading room which I always do I always post the trades before I take them posted Boeing and uh, you can see that the result was great so the airline failed you always look at the airlines when you trade Boeing you always look at the airlines the airlines failed to move higher that was the point where I decided that I'm going to take Boeing so you see there's a lot of things to consider here one is the intraday formation of the boy of Boeing then the daily formation of Boeing which you do pre market time you can do it market time as well and then you watch the airlines because they are in many times going to dictate where Boeing is going so you put in all of this together and you've got yourself a winning trade I mean you, you, you're not promised to succeed but definitely over 60% which is what I'm looking for now you can see that the end result uh, is great I've got several winners today I actually have four winners today one of them is Boeing um, I'm, I mean I'm still riding Boeing it's up 25 I'm, I'm I, I just won $2,500, but I'm still riding a uh, small side. And as you can see, it just continued to come down. And I've also got BBBY and NVIDIA and OKTA. I'm not going to get into these trades right now. Uh, and one loser in Siena, which did come down after all, but you know, all of them were short. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and hope it helped you. And if you did, please give me a like, help my channel because it helps me, but it also helps more people to watch day trading videos. And if you do want to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And plenty of links right here below. One of them is using the same platform I do, which is the Colmex Pro platform. It's a great platform, but please, please remember to start with the demo because trading is extremely hard. Most traders do lose money. I'm a very experienced trader, so my results are very untypical. And uh, so really be careful. Trading is very, very hard. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.